scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It's a big fight feel here tonight as the title is on the line. And title matches like this have a way of getting your blood flowing unlike any other match. He's told anyone who will listen that he always has been the uncrowned champion of this division. Now he can make it a reality. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We're about to see a clinic. Yeah. Chad may be the greatest coach of all time. Look what he did to Otis. Yeah, but is Chad Gable actually teaching the right lessons? Look at the record book, Saxton. You see all those W's? Those look like the right lessons to me. Great tag team partner, great mentor, great single star. Chad Gable has not only resurrected his career, but Otis's as well. And Gable does it all for the Academy. Introducing the challenger from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 253 pounds, Chris Ben Who. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chad Gale. Who's going to lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? battles waged over the Intercontinental Championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of this business. This match could easily be history in the making. That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Ah, striking with an A. Sharp knee. Uh-oh. And he barely evades. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Oh, unique offense. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. The challenger eating up some damage. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Nice takedown. Chad has taken the advantage here. Just attack after attack from Gable. Reversal, what a counter. There was some power behind that punch. Look at this display of power overhead, belly to belly. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. That takes them down. And what should Chad Gable do to win this match tonight, Corey? What does he need our advice for, Cole? Gable's the master. Inside that ring, he has all the knowledge and all the answers. What does the master need to do to win this match? Whatever he freaking wants. Chad Gable landed it right there. What's Gable composing here? Belly to belly suplex. Headed to the top now. Oh my God. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Taken to the air and completely wiping out. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Release German. 
He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. And he gets set back into the ring. Off the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Off into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh. Right to the face. My God. Can Gable withstand much more of this? This is Chad's perseverance getting tested. Double under hook. Power bomb. The power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Maybe that will shut him up. It's cinched in. This could be over. It's not embarrassing to tap. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Down they go. Drives a foot into the stomach. Ah, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Continuing to work on the arm with a... Driving a knee into the arm. Gable on the receiving end. Now a pin for the championship. Ah, oh, the champ narrowly kicks out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Oh, wrestling him down. Applied. It's cinched in. This could be over. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence? We're going to free the arm and does just that. Set up in the corner of the ring. Great wherewithal on the counter. Oh, wrestling him down. Applied. It's cinched in. This could be over. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. We're hearing a snap. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Suplex. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. Chad Gable into the turnbuckle, rolling through and into the German. What strength by Chad Gable. Another one bites the dust to the chair. I don't believe it. How did the challengers survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on them now. Oh, my God. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Counter after counter. Taking this outside. This could be good. He climbs into the ring, and he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Snap suplex. Holy meet the barricade. Ref still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. He has been here before and he knows what he needs to. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Oh, just tap it. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. 
Waist lock go behind. Up and over with a German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Oh, rest rest of down. It's cinched in. This could be over. He's got it locked in. He may not have a choice. He may have to tap out. Help out. Yes, we have a new champion. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here's your winner and new WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris. Spin. Who? You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. To go from challenger to champion. That has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing. <laughs>